Hey guys, Paul here. This is a Razor A5 scooter. Unfortunately, it's poor, pretty poorly designed with this single clamp. Watch this. For an adult scooter, that thing is tightened up all the way. And I can turn the handlebars. See how that's turning? Yet that is tightened up all the way. It's situated perfectly on there. So we're going to upgrade that with a triple clamp scooter. Much better for an adult. I don't know what Razor's thinking for a 220 pound rated scooter to put a cheap ass single clamp, but we're gonna upgrade that today with a triple clamp. Just to give you guys a heads up that these Razor product triple clamps, got this on eBay, um, they're not the right diameter really for this scooter. I had to tamp it on with a hammer, which I'm a little concerned about. You can see that it's kind of pulling that apart a little bit. Um, but anyway, just tamped it with the hammer and we're just going to go for it. You want to make sure that the clamp um, has clearance over the down tube. I've got this cleared about a sixteenth of an inch, but you want to make sure the down tube is making contact with that nut there and not the clamp. Make sure your handlebars are perfectly perpendicular with the wheel before you tighten the clamp down. All right, we've got a new triple clamp on this Razor A5. It's really rugged, tested it, tested the lateral uh, tension on the wheel with the handlebars, and it's holding up real well. Just to give another vantage point of why the double or triple clamp is so much better than these cheap little things. I mean, look at the um, coverage you have on that inner tube, that threaded inner tube. And this is putting pressure against all those threads. I mean, compared to this dinky little thing that easily twists around with any amount of uh, torque above on the handlebars. Do yourself a favor, upgrade to the double or triple clamp. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content of all types coming up. And you guys scoot on.